today I will tell you about a little girl who, despite all the obstacles in her life, decided to firmly go towards her goal. She did not really care if she had money or not because the most important thing for her was her desire. Ria Bolos, a small 11-year-old girl from the Philippines, went out for sports from her early childhood, and she was not at all embarrassed by the fact that she was from a low-income family who could not afford to buy even basic things, not to mention professional equipment. But despite this, she worked hard every day, using all sorts of improvised materials. Her peers mocked her and pointed at her and called her a beggar. Ria did not care about it. She was a person who loved what she did, so she did not pay any attention to them and went towards her goal. A few years later, a sports club for children was organized at a local school. Rhea wanted to join this sports club very much. Her parents did not know how to help her because they understood that they could not afford it. But the girl asked only about one thing, to give her only the opportunity to join the club. While her peers had all the conditions for training, Rhea could only afford to run yards along the beach. And as became clear later, her desire and exhaustive training brought her success. Most likely, no one in the world would have known about this girl and her story if not for what happened next. Rhea took part in an international school competition in the province of Iloilo. And it was good that they were held in the city of Rhea's hometown because most likely she simply would not have had the financial opportunity to go to competitions even in another province. At the very start of the race, all the people who were there began to whisper and said that they were surprised by what they saw on the feet of the young athlete. The girl really wanted to take part in the competitions, but since she did not have any sneakers, she found a very original way to solve her problem. She decided to make shoes out of tape. She wrapped her feet in tape and even drew the iconic Nike Swish logo on them. In this way, she was taking part in the competition. But the most amazing thing happened a little later. The girl with the tape shoes was honored to take part in three races that day, the 400 meter, 800 meter, and even the 1500 meter track races. And to everyone's surprise, she ran the 400 meter race first without any problems. And then she won the competition in the 800 meter race and she also claimed gold in the 1500 meter race. The girl came home with three gold medals. The reporters who were at the competitions were amazed by the young athlete. After such a phenomenal success, which her head coach shared on social networks, the whole world recognized the name of Rhea Bolos. Everybody was inspired by her desire for victory and her love of sports. Of course, the post became popular at once, and soon offers for help came from all parts of the world. Thousands of people from all over the world wrote words of deep admiration for the little athlete, and also sent the girl sports equipment and shoes. Representatives of the local sports shoe store, SM Store, found out about this amazing achievement. The store manager decided to give brand name sneakers to the talented athlete, and even invited her to choose the pair she liked on her own. Naturally, Rhea chose Nike sneakers. While Rhea was choosing her shoes, she felt like a star. The store employees did not let her go until they took a selfie with the girl. As it turned out, she is not the only teenage athlete who used tape as shoes. Several participants in the competitions also used this method, and now the media finally paid attention to them. And people all over the world write letters to sports shoe manufacturers asking them to give young athletes from poor families a necessary pair of sneakers for Christmas. After this story became known, the general manager of the Titan 22 basketball store and the sponsor of the Professional Philippine Basketball Association said that he would pay all the costs on equipping young athletes from the sports school, and he would also pay all the costs for the next national competition and competitions in Southeast Asia where the teams could fly also at his expense. Many people wrote comments that this story once again proved to people that there are no barriers to success. The most important thing is desire and action. Of course, perhaps this world is not the most ideal, but it definitely should have a place for good deeds and inspiring stories, such as Rhea's story. By the way, in her new shoes, Rhea has already won a gold medal in many competitions. Well, we hope that there will be a lot of great victories in her life and she will have a bright future.